Let's pop them on. The 2021 Titan. My brother got the tow package, but it didn't come with a brake controller. So he's installing that stuff. He already took the glove box off. What was that, like two bolts? Five screws. That, this panel just pops off, no screws. What are you doing now? You gotta take the gotta take center the, console out? Yeah, you gotta take the middle console out. So there's one bolt there, and one, on the other side. one on the other side. So he's unbolting bolts from there to get this whole portion moved back. So we can take this wire and run it back over here. So that's the brake controller from Nissan. So you got the two bolts out of the back. And now, yeah, the bolts so the now just, just it's already lifting up a little bit. Yeah, this is basically the best I could find for disassembly. Where'd you find that? Uh, just on a Titan forum, and then it's through Metra installation instructions. A lot better than that Ridgeline paint job. You, you wanna put I, that seat back for me? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know you had all this off. Yeah. yeah so you took... Yeah, that had to come down. So that, I don't really like, know, I'm not fucking with this, or messing with this, so. It says it just needs to be popped down for access according to the video. Yeah, probably. So, I don't think I can hear it. You can see the controls so for the heater. Took the seats. controls off for the heater. What did that just pop right out? Yeah, it just so popped no right screws, out. No screws, it just pops just out. Flipped right in. Yeah, most of this is done two 12 millimeter bolts and the rest are screws. How did you get this down? That's what it's going to look like when it's done. That picture right there. Yeah. So, so this whole panel just popped out, right? Um, or it looks well, like there was one screw. Yeah, so you have one screw down here. And one on the, oh, Phillips yeah, on this side. Yeah, all the Phillips are laying right down there. Right on the uh, okay, so let's see. So three. Well, I see three down here. Is that right? Yeah, three. Well, one yeah. of them is for over here, this side panel for the middle console, because there's two Phillips. One up under there. After you remove those little air grills, there's two fills. Up here, this piece right here just pulls forward. Yeah, that's what it shows, yeah. It shows it pulling forward. It says unclip and remove the trim panel where the center console and dash for me and then remove the Phillips, two Phillips screws exposed. Basically, once we get this piece off, we should be able to get the two Phillips off and slide this whole piece back. This is where that trim piece tool probably comes in. Yeah, because it looks like you need to pop it from the top. I've almost got enough on it, I can almost pop it out. Maybe a flathead? Yeah. A small flathead. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we got plastic? some light plastic pry tools. Yeah. Let's see if we can pop that panel out. two that. clips on the outside and two All on right. the bottom so we got the panel right here off that shows you one two phillips yep. well, two I could, you could actually pry it down and i could put my finger in there yeah that's that was kind of the the cheat code See, the regular Phillips head, folks, most of this is just clips and Phillips head. Why you pay $300 or over $300? You know what's nice? You song. see that, that little valley below the Phillips? If you were to drop one, it would just fall in that little plastic valley. Be able to just pull it right back, right? Yeah, at this point, it should just come up. That's what they say. Oh, I'm trying to lighten it. I'm missing here. So All right, so we we got the uh, center console to slide back. It just slides out of that. Here, shine the light. Yeah. It slides out of that air vent. It says remove the vent panels from each side of the radio climate slash climate control so, so now we got to take out and unclip and remove so that means there's gotta no... take these out mm -hmm. 
So if the Nissan dealer tells you you ain't got it, they're lying. That's it right there with the orange. Yep. White connector. Yep. That's plenty long too. It's folded yeah, over like that. Exactly. So it's perfect for going right in. Hold this out. There's no screws. You just once you get this slip back, you can start start these air vents on the bottom. Just pop them out real gently. So there's cool. one screw here. And then one screw right here. And then this and then, can be removed. And then we this can get just oh, okay. So that's just the bottom portion. Yeah. yeah. Separate from the yeah from the rest of it. So Yep, go, there ladies and gentlemen, and now it's you're nice gonna see and easy. there's going to be screws on the back here to take this cover off. Alright, so see. he got the three screws out of the back of that tray. What do you mean? I don't know. OEM tray, Nissan, let me know. Guys, see, brand new, he's got the settings, OEM, Nissan, not happy about it, made in Mexico. Part number? part number is 478A, this looks like a 0EZ40B. So that might be a, that might be a, yeah, that might be an O, I don't know, but it's made in Mexico. Yes. You guys can find it online. It's not hard to find eBay. You might whatever. be able to find it in Mexico too. Don't go to the dealership though. They're gonna try and charge you an outrageous price for it. I got quoted six hundred and ten dollars. I found it through another site with overnight shipping for four hundred and four hundred and fifty bucks. much we're going backwards now so we're gonna put the screws back in pop the vents back in slide the dash back up put the screws back in the dash make sure all the air ducts seat really good and then we're gonna pop all the trim back in throw a few more screws back in the glove box in and that pretty much will complete uh, doing this job all right got those screws in that's good should be able to pop these back oh in. Jesus Start So we're just wrapping up the last bit of the uh, reinstall. Much faster getting everything back together. Uh, yeah, just got uh, the glove box left. Center console's pretty much done. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna throw back in the glove box, which that was just five screws, right? <laughs> yep, five, five, five screws, screws to that. So yep, glove box right here, five piece five. of cake. Saved, saved about $500 doing this shit myself, roughly. Because if I would have went through them for their part, it was $100 more, $150 more than what I found it for. Plus they wanted $360 for labor. So save myself roughly $460 by doing this, guys. You can do the same thing. All right, popping that on. It just snaps in. The whole yep. glove box snaps in. Yep, we got it. Screws after that. Uh, three more. Or three more, yeah. Yep. And, then and then you can drive it. Yep. And then you can more. tow with it. Tow. Or, 
Because these mosquitoes are just... Uh, and so the other three are gonna be right at the top. Here. Right at the top, look at that. A row of three. Boom. All right, with packing the glove box, that will conclude this job. Not it's a wrap. Right. That's how it works. Oh man, wow. It's a wrap. Wow, look at, it's a wrap. Look at that. Do that again. Your brake lights come on when you do that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, that's a good sign, man.